Well, this is a greeting, isn't it? This is not very nice. But it does not look like I'm alone. <laughs> um, hmm. Where's my water bucket? Ah, I believe the way you deal with these is you... <laughs> Aha! I did it! Oh, it got both of them! Oh, sick! And the glass is intact. Wow. Okay, then. Any more? Seriously, right? That no, I stepped out. I, I, you, you saw it. I just stepped out the door and it started raining. I literally just stepped out my door. Are you kidding me? Now I'm gonna get all wet. But it does look like we are pretty good. Doesn't look like any more has been planted, especially by my storage area. Um, that that could be a catastrophe. Everything looks good though. Also the shop. In fact, speaking about the shop. Have we had any sales? Hmm. No, not really. Ooh. Never mind. Oh. We have actually made some money. Ooh. Oh, someone has redeemed the thing. Sweet. Very cool. Right. Not a bad little profit right there. Anyways, hello and welcome back to Ramble SMP. I'm sorry it's been a while. Uh, I've been busy <laughs> and also took a little bit of a break, but we're back now and I have multiple things I want to do today. Um, one of them, well, which you can kind of see right here. I have TNT, but what do I want to, to use the TNT for? Hmm? That's a good question. That is a very good question, but I want to do multiple things today. I want to use this TNT on something. I also want to start building something over there, because in the last episode, if you did not watch it, I kind of expanded my mining area from being a mining area to being, well, more roomy. And I think I want to expand with this. Have we had any more glow squid in sack? Oh, we have. Oh, lovely. We also have my geode farm over there. So yeah, I think I, I want to make this feel a lot more homey. Uh, so I think also this is a mess. Oh dear, look at all these chests. So yeah, I think I want to improve this area. And also we're having a little bit of a project that Amradon came up with that I think is an excellent idea. And that is having a railway system connecting all of our bases. So I need to make a little bit of a railway area. And I think, yeah, I'm pretty much at the perfect Y level. Well, I need it needs to be a Y level 10, but yeah, pretty close. But I don't know how much down there we're gonna get done today because I want to improve the look of this, the entrance to the underground area. And I also would like to improve the look of my portal because yeah, this area could be a whole lot nicer. I'm also in this episode going to be transferring these items from these chests all the way over to our brand new storage area that we made not too long ago right here, but I'm planning on doing that on stream. So when you're watching this episode, I will have already streamed it. But if you want to catch more streams in the future, make sure you're subscribed and enable those notifications. You can also join my Discord server, link down below in the description. I announce my streams there as well. Plus, it's a nice place to be. Another thing that I wanted to do as well is something that I've been talking with Kit about. And that is our bases are relatively close to each other. So it would be very cool to have them connected with a path. And he has gone ahead and made a little bit of a path here, connecting them. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag my path right there all the way over, follow, following his path essentially, and then meet at the middle somewhere, and then he can make a cool looking path, and we can kind of meet in the middle somewhere. Which I guess would be right here. So I want to try and get that done today as well, if possible. But first things first. Actually first, first things first. Before I can do the first thing, do I have flint and steel? If I don't have flint and steel, it's gonna be a little bit of an issue. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Flint and steel. And yes, this place is looking terrible as well. I'm planning to fix the interior today as well. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah, this needs cleaning up as well. A lot of cleaning up to do. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Hmm. 
ねえ。Better. How on earth? Did that happen? Hero Brian? Eh. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Really? Is it just me or can no one get these to like chain react properly? <laughs> Whoa! That's a drop. Oh, it kind of worked. But also only just kinda. Oh. Oh. Hmm. 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 Uh -huh. Ah, perfect. Ooh. Nice. That's actually a lot of ancient debris here. Very nice. Sneaky. good all right i think i am done here 17 ancient debris definitely not bad if i missed any please do let me know down below in the comments might be able to come back and find it but anyways wait a minute where's my staircase ah that is now what am i actually going to use this netherite scrap for that is a good question do i upgrade my tools and armor or do i make netherite ingots and sell it. I think I'm personally a fan of staying in diamond. Not gonna lie, the netherite armor is very nice and the tools as well. But the diamond stuff, it just looks... Yeah. It, it just kind of looks... Better? So I can make four ingots. I can make four... Oh wait, I forgot. Need more gold than that. I can make four netherite ingots right there would be very nice if i could get another scrap so i have five this should be able to attract some attention now what should the price be it's a marketplace we gotta go cheap one diamond block is one netherite ingot and this is a very expensive business sign <laughs> bonk bonk there we go. Now before I do anything else, before I build the can build the portal frame, before I can build the mine entrance over there, before I can build the path, before I can do anything, I need to get these items sorted. So that's what I'm gonna do next. I'm gonna do a stream again. It will already be done when you watch this episode, but I don't worry, I will be doing more in the future. But yeah, this is the next thing that I really need to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and then we can get started with one of these two projects first. I'm not sure which one, but I'm sure I will figure it out eventually. Now this is what I call organized storage. Look at this. So 
I'm pretty happy with the organization that we have here, so let me show you some of it. We have logs over here, together with planks, and then in the next chest we have stuff like stairs and slabs. Now what I've done here, as you can see, the spruce is different than the oak and the birch, etc. And that is because the spruce is what I'm working with the most, so I am most likely going to have more of these items than I would of the oak and the birch, etc. <laughs> So the rest of the uh, spruce stuff is in this chest together with scaffolding, item frame sticks, etc. And yeah, it pretty much goes all the way around in this room. Now there are some things that I still need to finish up on, like I need to add more smooth stone. I need to maybe organize this. The nether chest is not even done yet. I need to get the redwood and whatnot. I need to get some more end stuff. But yeah, mostly this is now finished. And probably one of the ones that I'm most happy with is the redstone chest right here. I do again need to add some more stuff, but other than that, I'm really happy with how this is looking. And then finally, we have an empty chest, which is just going to be for miscellaneous things that doesn't fit in any of these. So when I put stuff in this chest that doesn't have a home in any of these chests, it will land right here in this chest. I hope that made sense. And then what this hopper right here is for is basically if I have a shulker box after I'm making a project, I can just plop that down and all the items from that shulker box will sort into the places where they need to be. Or if they, again, would have a home, end up in this chest. Now the only remainder that we have from the huge chest monster over here is this one chest. And it's not even full. All the stuff you see here I want to move into my house once I have redecorated. So all the food, the potions, some music discs and spare armor, weapons and tools and whatnot. Which will again all have a home in my house once I have redecorated it. And then when that is done, no chests. There will be no chest monster anymore. So now that the items have been organized, I think it is time to finally make the mine entrance look pretty as well as the portal frame. Let's just jump straight into it. And look at this, the mine entrance looks so much better and so does the portal area. Let's start by taking a look at the mining entrance right here. So we have a stone brick path leading up. Now I want to improve this area in here, but that will be for another time. But yeah, I want to make this look pretty obviously. So it's not just pretty on the outside and then ugly on the inside. But over here I have added two cranes. Well, what I think are cranes anyway. Let me know your thoughts about this build, by the way, down below in the comments. But yeah, I've added these two cranes right here. Now what I tried to do is make it look like they're actually carrying blocks, in this case obsidian, in that case it's about to pick up an iron ore. I quite like the design on the crane here, like grabbing the block. I'm pretty happy with this actually. I'm pretty happy with the, with how this looks. Now I didn't want gravel and dirt and andesite and whatnot in the walls. So what I did, as you saw in the time lapse, I took deep, a couple deep slate and replaced all the dirt and the gravel with it. And I actually think it makes for a very nice addition to the mountain. And I might do that maybe on the edges. I'm not sure, but I might add more of that on the mountain over here because I think it makes it look a little bit unusual and mysterious. The final thing, of course, I need to do is connect this path up to the main path over here, but I'm waiting with that. Let us take a look at the portal. So this is the portal. We have a stone brick uh, path right here, which I might change now that I think about it. I might change it to nether brick. I think that might look better. Um, but other than that, we have the portal here. We have a little bit of a roof above the portal. And then I added two biomes here, the warped forest like type stuff, and then the crimson forest over here to the right. I think it just adds a very nice like red on one side, blue on the other. I really like how this looks. And what I think I will do eventually is probably make it spread all the way up to this hill maybe somehow behind the portal and all the way over like so. I think that would make it look even better. But for now, this is a solid start. Again, I need to connect this 
uh, path up to the main path, and in fact, I need to continue the main path all the way over here. So with those two things done, I think before we start working on the path, I need to uh, gather some more resources for the path. In the meantime, I think I want to have some fun redecorating this house, because at the moment, it doesn't look that great. So while you watch me decorate the house, I'm gonna go and get some more resources so I can continue this path a little bit in that direction and finish connecting up these things right here. So let's get to it. Alright, the house has been redecorated and I think it is time that I introduce you to the changes. I'm actually pretty happy with this. This is the first time I have ever decorated anything in Minecraft, like interior-wise, but yeah, let's cut it, let's get to it. So, not much going on right here, mainly because I want this space to be roomy. Maybe I could add a carpet here actually, now that I think about it. Having a carpet here would look pretty nice, so I'll probably add that. We have a clock up there and I, I'm just in love with these like azalea flower leaves, so I'm just adding them everywhere. Of course, we have gotten rid of all the torches and placed it with the, with the lamps, but over here is where the real change really kicks in. So we still have the furnaces over here with, again, like I said, Acelia leaves in, in parts. I really love that. I'm going to make it set up a super furnace down in the, um, or a super spelter, sorry, down in the cave. But it's just very nice to have these furnaces right here near the house. So yeah, I'm gonna keep these here. Plus it looks pretty good. And then I can store all my food and other stuff in these chests that are relevant as well. I actually went ahead and placed uh, stairs all the way around and I think it really adds uh, what's it called? Depth of feel? Is that the right word? To the place and it hides the logs and I just think it looks really really good with this going down like this. Then we have a little sitting area. I really wish we could sit in Minecraft. Um, but yeah, this, this is all we got. Crafting table trying to hide its ugliness. Um, yeah, crafting table. Music discs, which I only have two of the same one, but you know what, it works. I also changed this right here and I think it actually looks much better than before. Also because I wanted to move the doors so they were flush with the wall so I could have the same design like I had over there. But let us now head upstairs because this is probably my favorite place so far. <laughs> so let's start in the corner over here. So we have the base right here and as far as I know, it says respawn point set so I think it works just fine. I don't think this up here is an issue. We have a little sitting area over here, and then we have, well, armor and weapons and tools. I will probably want to replace these with proper, like, usable sets. Some of it is pretty good, so yeah, I guess this is all backup gear anyway. Uh, these swords as well, they can be used as backups. Now some of these, they're not really usable, like this one, just unbreaking one, but it's there for decorational purposes. We have some unfinished iron armor sets, then we have the ender chest right here at the end, together with the anvil. And now I have a bunch of workstations in here, I need to clean up this ender chest as well, but I have a bunch of workstations here. Which I had in the house before, but does it really fit? Most of these need to go in the storage barn where all my items are anyway. And I also added these support stairs, which I think, again, really add some depth to the place. So yeah, that is the interior done. Now I also actually need to go to the ender chest now. I also got this right here. So this is all the stuff that we need for the road. We got andesite, gravel, tough, coarse dirt, and then of course the spruce logs. I will also need to grab some deep slate fences and also make some more lanterns. But my goal now is then to continue this road all the way down to the end, connect the path leading to the ender portal 
all the way over to this and then of course connect the mine area to the main road over here i feel like the main road is gonna stick like this but then i'm gonna make each place have their own unique road like that road leading up to my house that's like one style then i'm gonna make a different one for the mine and a different one for the portal so i think that will look pretty good but i just want to show you something up here this is my projects chest now everything in this chest uh, actually, I need these and I need that. Now, most of these things in this shulker box has a home in this storage. So what I should be able to do is I should be able to take this, plop it down there. And as you can hear, the dispensers are now working. So the things in this shulker box are now being extracted and sorted into these chests. So when I'm done with the road, we'll get back here. We'll take this shulker box. I just realized it's going to go in the system. Uh, anyway... We're gonna pick up the shelf box and we're gonna see if we have any strength items in like these chests over here. So, yeah, I'm just gonna leave this run. Uh, it's a bit loud, but yeah, I'm gonna fly away now. Now, this chest is almost empty. There's just a few remaining potions. I want to make a potion and enchanting area. I also, I don't know why, but this chest, it's cursed. It, it will not say a sound. It will not close. I don't know what is going on here. It's kind of scary, but I've always been planning from the start to have like a wizard tower over here So I think that is probably going to be one of my next big builds that I will have to prepare for But yeah, that's for another time now I need to finish up this road and again I'm not sure where to lead this road to It's gonna be a lot of work I don't think I can finish this road today But I'm gonna follow kids outline here and probably lead it to here or something like that or at least I'm gonna try and make as much progress as I can and we'll see How far we go, but anyways, that's enough of me rambling on Let us switch over to probably the final time lapse of the episode and finish up this road Let's get to work Can we just for a moment appreciate how great Endavar's towers and end ships look during the night here with shaders? That is absolutely incredible. And Hocus' place for that matter. Speaking of which, I think our path and our area in general is really starting to come together here. So this is the road that I made. I moved it all the way over here to this spot which I think should be around the central area in between our bases. Kids base is over there, mine is over there. So I think this is about the center area, center point. If kids want me to just continue the road all the way over to his, I'll gladly do so. I have the materials for it. Um, but yeah, this, I think, looks really, really good. I really like it. Also really like this area at night as well. And the portal area. Now one thing that I did not do, I did not connect the mine shaft all the way up to this road here, nor did I, did I connect up the nether portal over here. And that is because I want to do that in the next episode, because in the next episode I want to improve the overall greenery around here. The area around the paths here, I want to add some trees in, I want to add some grass and whatnot, so it's not just so, well, blank. And together with that, I also want to start improving the look down there in the mine itself. So we'll be doing a bit of both on that front. Together with potential other things. I, I haven't planned that far ahead. But guys, I think I'm gonna leave it here. As the moon is setting and the sun is rising and the rain is approaching. <laughs> this place does really look great with these shaders though. I love it. Anyways guys, I hope you have enjoyed this episode. If you did, please be sure to leave it a like. And if you're new, consider subscribing. I don't know what happened there. I assume lightning strike. But yeah, if you're new, consider subscribing, enabling those notifications, and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day, and... Hold on. There we go. And goodbye. <laughs> uh, yeah, it can, it can be a little bit dangerous out here. And it's a good thing we have a very nice and cozy home to sit and do some work in. Or just sleep. You know what? Yeah. 
I think I'll just sleep. <laughs>